For creators in the media entertainment space, the recent release of Unreal Engine 5.3 sees further advances to the virtual production tool set, as well as refinements to the broader feature sets. Let's take a closer look at some of the highlights. First up, in preparation for the next generation of LED production stages, we've added experimental support to InDisplay for Simti ST2110. This lays the groundwork for a range of hardware configurations that opens up new possibilities for LED stages, including having a dedicated machine for each camera frustrum, maximizing the potential rendering resolution, increasing frame rate, and allowing for more complex scene geometry and lighting than previously possible. Using the new Cinecam Rig Row Actor, you can emulate traditional camera movement along tracks or on dollies. It provides the ability to choreograph camera settings at different control points along the path and sequencer, and supports both in editor and vCam workflows. Talking to vCam, you can now browse takes directly on the iPad for review or re recording, simultaneously stream different outputs, such as with or without camera controls for different team members, and record at a slower frame rate for easier capture of fast moving action. There's also the ability to indicate overexposed areas in the camera view. Unreal Stage is an iOS app. That means stage operators can work quickly and easily with a touch interface and UI that supports a range of workflows specifically tailored for their tasks. You can place and position light cards and flags, live color grade the LED volume, make targeted color tweaks to UE content, drop in chroma key cards around talent, and access custom widgets built with the web remote control toolset. Unreal Engine's camera lens calibration feature now supports solving anamorphic lens geometry for distortion. So you can match the distortion of live action footage shot with these lenses in your digital content. You can also use this feature to apply a given lens's distortion profile to fully CG content, creating a more filmic feel. In case you missed it, in UE 5.2, we introduced the procedural content generation framework as an experimental feature. You can use it to build fast, iterative tools and content of any complexity, ranging from asset utilities such as buildings or biome generation up to entire worlds. Unreal Engine 5.3 also introduced a number of experimental features designed to enable more creative workflows in Engine, including path traced volumetric rendering with support for OpenVDB import, a new skeleton editor, and panel based chaos cloth with machine learning simulation. These are just some of the highlights of what's new in Unreal Engine 5.3. You can find out more on our What's New page, where you'll also find a link to download the release if you're a new user. Otherwise, it's available right in your Epic Games launcher. Enjoy.